and today I'm coming at you with a quote unquote guide or tutorial, whatever you want to call it, on my user interface, my keybinds, and my add ons. So, the first thing I'm going to say when we get into the keybind is keybinds are totally preferential. You guys play what you are comfortable with as long as you're not clicking, right? As long as you have keybinds that fit you. Feel free to copy mine if you want, but you know, it's not going to be ideal for everyone. So now let's get into it. I have a MMO gaming mouse. There are several different brands of them. There's the Razer Naga, the Corsair, the Logitech, but I use a, a 12 button MMO mouse, uh, the Logitech one, because it's 30 to $35, depending on where you are in the world. And I bind all my main attack abilities and my most frequently touched abilities to this mouse right here. Uh, over here, I have my P, H, and U. Those are just uh, rebound keys on the mouse. I don't actually press P, H, and U. That's really weird. And uh, the rest are control modifiers on the rest of my, uh, my main buttons here. Um, I don't really use control eight and control nine because you know those are just PVE stuff. Control eight turns me into this nice, nice little toy. Uh, but I do have control zero and control equals as uh, extra word of glories. And we'll get into that during the macro section. But essentially, red paladins have more key binds than any other class in the game because you need so many different party macros. Um, additionally, on my right side of my bar, I use Z, X, Shift Z, Shift X. Those are, you know, the actual keyboard buttons. Shift W for my cleanse. And what these are is if I press Z or if I press X, it's going to cast this button Blessing of Sanctuary. It's a macro on either my healer or my DPS. And then the same button, but with the Shift modifier, will cast my Blessing of Protection, my healer, or Shift X, Blessing of Protection on my DPS. I then have J, which is a very infrequently used keybind. I'm, I'm finding out real quick while streaming on Twitch. Like, why do you have J bound? Who uses J? Yeah, J is my hellstone. You know, it is what it is. Somehow I'm comfortable with it. Uh, and then I have my middle mouse button, which quite frequently I'm finding breaks on all the mouses that I've used. Maybe I hit it a little bit too hard as my cancel aura for my blessing of protection and blessing of freedom. Now, that's a macro that I'll, I'll display when we get to the macro section. But essentially what that allows me to do is stop mages from spell stealing my bop. If I'm bopping out of a, out of a stun, so I bop the stun and instantly cancel it. Or if I'm freedoming out of a root and then I want to instantly cancel the freedom so it doesn't get spell stolen, that's what I will do. Um, in terms of why I have my abilities doubled up on most of my main action bar, it's really, it's just for looks. It's just for looks. Other than the macros on the right side of my screen where I have double bop, double sank, double word of glory. Uh, the rest down here are actually for just looks. Like, you know, why not? Back in Warlords of Draenor, when Blizzard did the giant spell prune, the, the action bars were so bare that I had to add extra, you know, extra icons. And it does let me see the abilities a little more clearly. But it is totally up to you if you want to do that. If not, feel free to leave it blank. Feel free to just put everything on one bar, etc. It is up to you. Um, one of the reasons I have my main action bar or action attack abilities on the side is because I've been playing Rhett in most of these classes for so long that I just got used to having them out of the side, out, out of my main view, and I don't need to look at the cooldowns too frequently. But if you are someone newer to WoW, I recommend putting them wherever you can keep a uh, good track of the cooldowns on your attack abilities. Uh, if it's not the top right, well, feel free to put it wherever you can see it best. All right, let's get into the macros. Now, I've had several videos where I've put the macros in the description of the video. So if this is a repeat, uh, feel free to skip ahead. If not, I'm just going to go over the rest of the macros that I use on my ret. So this one right here is my Holy Venger in Seraphim macro. I have this bound to V. And what this does is it lets me swap between Holy Venger and Seraphim without actually having to drag the button to my bars. And since I use the same keybind for both, it just changes it automatically. Uh, the next three macros are, yes, they are all Blessing of Protection macros. Basically, I use my I've, I bop DPS macro and I put my teammate's name in 
for this bot macro. Uh, this bot macro is macroed to shift X. Uh, this is my bot healer macro. It's macroed to, or it's bound to shift Z. And then I have a mouse over bot macro. And what this lets me do is, you know, if I'm, if I'm in a BG or just out in the world targeting an enemy, something like that, I'll bot myself. But if I mouse over someone, so say I mouse over this warrior right here, and I press the same ability, it would bop him. Uh, and I don't actually have to have him targeted. Uh, my next macro is my burst macro. It's just my Avenging Wrath, my badge of ferocity, which is this trinket right here, and a saltwater potion for BGs. And, you know, I run out of saltwater potions so quick, so usually I don't have any. And then here are my um, Blessing of Freedom and Protection Cancel Aura macros. It's slash Cancel Aura, Blessing of Freedom, and then slash Cancel Aura, Blessing of Protection. You can put them in the same uh, command, or I'm sorry, you can put them in the same macro. And that is my middle mouse button right there. <clears throat> this is my mouse over cleanse macro, excuse me. Uh, same functionality as the blessing of protection macro. I just have a mouse over cleanse, makes it a little bit quicker than clicking a frame. Um, I have my sank, same format as the Bob healer, Bob DPS, my sank healer, sank DPS. And my final reckoning, which will pop my badge once again, because final reckoning is actually a one minute cooldown. It lines up perfectly with uh, the Badge of Ferocity. So it's fine to have it macroed both in the wings and your Final Reckoning. And then I have it an at cursor macro. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to target, it's basically fast cast. If you guys know what fast cast is from League of Legends, it is, it is that fast cast, quick cast, whatever it's called. Um, so it targets automatically at your mouse location. It's not your current target, it's not at yourself, it's wherever your mouse is and boop, press it. That right there, perfect. All right, back to the macros. Uh, I have a mouse over freedom macro, same format as the mouse over cleanse. I have a mouse over word of glory macro, same concept as the freedom, the blessing of protection. Uh, and then I have a party one freedom. Usually I'll put my warrior there, something like that. But recently I'm just, you know, I'm just playing with the mouse over freedom. It's fine, it's working for me. Uh, I have my focus hammer of justice shift modifier macro and what this allows you to do is if you set a target to focus and you know you're targeting something else i'm targeting these like this this dummy over here and i'm going to try and hodge or stun this guy right here if i hold my shift i will stun him instead so see my hammer of justice is on cooldown and it went on this guy right here because i had this reinforced guardian as my main target and that's not in range so gotta get on the focus target um it's a prompt macro don't need to go over that this is my shift rebuke macro same concept as the hammer of justice shift modifier cc macro uh, i have my mouse over sack macro my sank dps macro and my slow which is a slow main target with normal press and if i hold shift it slows my focus target just like that I have a few more macros in here that um, I occasionally use. I have my, my DPS Word of Glory macro, and I have my Healer Word of Glory macro. And yes, I have an overly large amount of macros that I definitely need to clean up. But other than that, that is pretty much it for my macros. Again, I will leave all these in the description. If anyone wants to copy paste, feel free. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up my UI. And basically what I use for party frames is just the default blizzard raid frames. And the way that you can adjust this is you get in a party, you open up the settings and you click use raid style party frames. Um, I don't like to keep groups together in arena. Sometimes in rated BGs, depending on the map, like seething shore, I'll keep groups together. It's a little weird. Um, I display incoming heals, class color, uh, border, you can bo do border or borderless, up to you, um, and showing debuffs. I also have my frame height and width to the max, and I have it on auto activate for groups of two and three players. I'll quickly go over the rest of my settings. Uh, you know, there's nothing really important in controls, uh, nothing too important at least. Uh, don't use sticky targeting, I guess. Um, under combat, I ha make sure you have target of target displayed so you can see what your target is attacking. 
Um, I don't flash my screen at low HP. I find it annoying. Make sure you have loss of control alerts checked off. If you are comfortable um, not running this, if you're an old school WoW player, before this was a thing, you know, it's up to you, but I always recommend loss of control alerts to newer players that lets you see when you're stunned, CC'd, feared, etc. cetera. Um, displaying, I have my status text as numeric value, and that lets me see the HP of uh, enemy players. I can judge their gear a little bit faster that way. Um, under action bars, I have all of my action bars enabled and I have always show action bars and always show numbers for cooldowns, which means if I press judgment, you'll be able to see the uh, the cooldown on judgment. I'll show you guys right here, see 11, 10, nine. Uh, for names, I have enemy and minions, always show nameplates, enemy units, minions, and minor. So you can see pets, totems, etc. Uh, I always recommend to have these enabled. It's really important to be able to kill grounding totems, uh, kill lock pets, uh, capacitor totems. What's that? With that? Counter strike totems. Yeah, basically totems and pets. Uh, in terms of camera, make sure you have your camera on never adjust camera so you can turn and pan your camera the other way and just walk forward and it won't change you can have a free mouse just look whoever's behind you that's an older setting i'm not sure if anyone plays uh any other setting but if you do i totally recommend changing that for pvp very important uh <laughs> I, I remember like back in 2010 swifty coming out with a video and saying guys everyone never adjust camera all the time and then from then on like all the pvpers never adjust the camera uh, nothing special for mouse, nothing special for accessibility. And yeah, that's about it for my UI aside from add-ons. Now I made a video recently on my nameplates add-on, which is fly plate buffs. It's just basically, uh, the, the cooldowns on top and the debuffs on top of the enemy. So if you guys want to take a look at that, feel free. The guide is there. I'll leave a link in the description. If not um feel free to use either default or any other nameplate buff add-on you would like all right let's go over the add-ons real quick uh i use big debuffs and what this lets me do is it shows cc on the target to the right of the nameplate and it also shows when my teammates are crowd controlled so this is really important to have as a rep paladin because you're going to want to see when you can sanctuary off uh, CCs from your teammates. Um, I will mouse over or scroll over my settings right here. So you guys can either pause the video on them and copy them if you'd like, but basically almost everything is default. I'm pretty sure I haven't adjusted anything, unit frames and then nameplates, but it's really the sizes that you guys can see. Like, I think the one thing I adjusted is the size on the nameplates. I moved it to 40, maybe but that's it. Yeah. Just these three. Nothing, nothing changed in priority or profiles. Nothing changed here. Yeah. Next add on. So classic numbers. This is just uh, the only change I did here was disable blizzard numbers. This changes the text font to pre legion. I'm pretty sure it's pre legion or pre warlords of Draenor. Whenever they had juicy crit numbers, this is classic numbers add on. You can get back to that classic. Wow. Uh, crit text. Now we use details as my, uh, my damage tracker right here. Pretty sure details is the most popular one at this point. Replace the good old recount from back in the day. Uh, fly plate buffs. We just talked about that one. Omni bar here. Omni bar lets me uh, track enemy kicks. I have nothing changed on this setting. Now you can add in, um, you can either copy PVP or profiles, some of them have links on Twitch, uh, Google them, etc. Or you can add spells in by yourself. But I just run the default Omni bar to track enemy kicks at the moment. Now Omni CD allows you to track friendly cooldowns. Um, let me go in here. Omni CD, where is it? Friendly visibility. So I set my visibility to uh, only in arena and dungeons, but you can set it to outdoor zones. So I set it to outdoor zones right here. And now you can see that uh, my party member, I can see the cooldowns that I enabled to track for him. Open this back up here. Get rid of outdoor zones because we don't want to see that on everyone. And you can set the max number of group members as well. So I have the max at five. So I'm not in like a, you know, a raid group of, of eight people or something like that. And then boom, you have way too many spells shown. 
You can also um, determine the spells that you want to add to classes, spell editor. Uh, but yeah, it's a really great add-on to have. I, I totally recommend it. It helps with uh, teammate communication, knowing when your partners are in trouble or not based on their cooldowns. And then lastly, I have Trophy GCD. And Trophy GCD allows me to just show you guys my global cooldowns on the bottom of the... Uh-oh, uh what happened here? What is this a LUA era of unit slots? I don't even know what this is. Don't know what that is. But basically, my GCDs will be shown. Oh, reload UI. My GCDs will be shown in the bottom right hand corner so you guys can see the spells I use a little more accurately. Yep, Judgment right there, Temple's Verdict right there, Blade of Justice. All right. Oh, I did forget one add on. Uh, it is called E Align. And if you guys are a little bit OCD about your bars, go ahead and download it. I will leave it in the description as well. Flash align, and it will give you this nice little grid. And you can click and choose where your frames go exactly. All you need to do is right click your, uh, your frame and click unlock frame. And that goes for everything, including the focus frames. And you just drag it around, line it up nice with E align. And when you're done, type slash align again. Boom, good to go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If anyone has any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash PvP. We're uh, streaming the Glad Push as Cupid Cleave. And thank you to Trey for chilling in my group AFK for a little bit. Uh, shout out to Trey, guys. Check his channel out as well. And I'll see you all next video. Peace.